Well, just in time for the start of Women's History Month in March comes a movie about the life of a woman who became the patron saint of immigrants, Mother Francesca Cabrini. Cabrini, the movie, opens in theaters on March the 8th. In America, the greatest nation on earth, rats have it better than the children of five points. It's not safe. Not for you. Be careful. This place will eat you alive. You have an election coming up, do you not? I believe I'm being threatened by a nun. Cabrini, you would have made an excellent man. And with me now is Philadelphia native Jay Eustace Wolfington. He was so moved by Mother Cabrini's story and the influence on him that he decided to produce a $50 million movie on her. You have shown me pieces of it. It is fantastic. Uh, I saw it in theaters in a, in, a, in a premiere. Tell me a little bit about why you were so compelled to tell her story, Eustace. Well, Mother Cabrini was a great entrepreneur. And I wanted to do great things in my life. And I learned about her and I said to myself, I'm going to make her my role model. She had a saying. She said, you can serve your weakness or you can serve your purpose. You cannot do both. And she served her purpose because, because she was weak. She was, uh, that's a physical weak. Very frail, yeah. She, she was dynamic in spirit. Mm -hmm. and, and, anyway, and I say, anyone going to this movie is going to pick that up. She overcame all kinds of obstacles. Mm -hmm. She had a vision. She had a mission. And Anyone watching this movie is incredibly inspired. I don't, care, I don't care what you do in life. You watch this movie, you're going to be, you're going to walk out on fire. This is a really a storied place <laughs> in our area. It's named, obviously, the movie named after Mother Cabrini. If you can tell us a little bit more about why you think that people need to learn her story these days. In every age, there's always comes along a movie that is right for the time. Mm -hmm. Back in 1942, Mrs. Miniver in London, Winston Churchill said this movie did more to win the war for London than anything else. Cabrini's that movie of this, of this time. Got to put out my bias there. I was a Cabrini High School graduate in New yeah. Orleans, Cabrini Manhattan that unfortunately closed. Obviously, Cabrini University, used to be Cabrini College. So many people proud of that legacy here. It's sad to see this school close now, Eustace. Is there, was there anything uh, that, that tried to be done to save the school with the proceeds of the movie? Can you talk about that? Is there any, was there any conversation about helping each other with this? I think what's happening is a good thing for Cabrini. Okay. How so? Because Villanova is, is the right partner. They're going to honor Cabrini's name. They're going to, they're going to keep up the tradition. Um, That's important and to know. small schools today have a tough time making it. Sure. And uh, with Villanova taking over Cabrini, I think it's going to be a great lift. But the, but the movie, the, the, the main thing I want people to understand, this is a must-see movie. The cinematography, every single frame is a beautiful work of art. Mm -hmm. The acting... Uh, the music is so powerful. And, uh, you know, to take time out of your life to walk in to see something that you're going to talk about for weeks and weeks and weeks after you see it. Yeah. And you're going to tell everybody you know that you got to see this film. So good. No I very much enjoyed the movie. It's going to open in theaters uh, on International Women's Day on March the 8th. Yeah. So it's going to be a really special uh, premiere, especially with all the local ties that we have to Mother Cabrini here. We're going to, we're going to make that International Cabrini Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Just a matter of time. Eustace Wolfington, thank you so much for okay, being here you. with thank us you very today. Much. Thank you. And once again, we're going to have much more information on our website if you're interested in watching Mother Cabrini the movie on March the 8th. And you can learn much more about it on NBC. 10.com. Find it on 10.